So hello everyone and welcome. I know one of the biggest hurdles for people to play the Japanese version of my record is that they are not able to of course read any Japanese text. Now one thing that I used to say in the past was, well for example there are story summaries, there are some story translations as well. With it when it comes to the gameplay you can usually infer a lot of the gameplay from just visuals and stuff. But that is not good enough. So instead we want to do something that's better today. I have three ways for you how to translate some of the on-screen text in my record, some of which are instant, some of which are almost instant, and we are going to start with the one thing that I've gotten to work really well on emulator, because I've been using emulator. So if you go into the game right here for example, and we're going to make a screenshot of this. There are different ways of making screenshots depending on what phone you have, but on the emulator that I'm using, which is Memu, on the sidebar there's like three dots and if you click on them it pops out a side menu. Um, and the one that we want to have is the scissors, which gives us a screenshot button. So I'm going to click that button right now, bloop, it made a screenshot. So what do you do with that screenshot? We hop into Google Translate, pop up camera, and click on import, and then we can put that screenshot in there, and then the entire screen, everything that's on text uh, on the screen gets uh, scanned, and then we can decide what we want to actually have translated at once. So for example, I want the, the entire top bar to be translated. So I'm gonna mark it all, and it says to us, Puella Magi Maruka Maika Gaiden. And then we can look at the bottom screen, for example, and what does it say? Part 2 Hyakuroko Hen of Gathering. Um, this is weird because last time it translated that differently. I think you can make some adjustments to it as well. Um, but it last time it was going to give you a really good translation. So, one thing I want to note, though, however, is uh, I have a webcam on right now and you, you just saw the app crash. That's because of the webcam, that's not because of the app itself. If you have a webcam on emulator, sometimes Google Translate tries to use your webcam as a, as a camera. And because I'm using the webcam right now, um, my, trans my, uh, my recording software does not like to give up the camera. So this works reasonably well in a lot of cases. And I've, I've, for example, I went into the game, I've played some of the other um, just game modes in there, that done some stories and try to use the camera to see, just to see what it would do. And for example, if you go to a stream like the stamp screen um, and you wonder what all of these uh, buttons actually mean, you can go over here and let's say, that's for example it says, let's strengthen a magical girl. Okay, now I know what that does. Go in here, let's clear chapter two, part one of the main story. Awesome, what else do we have? Awaken the magical girl once. Awesome. Gets even better. Let's get the enhanced alertness barrier. I mean, some of these translations are a bit weird, but you can get what it means. Like, unless it's like a really highly specialized word, it might have trouble with it. Like, for example, at the very beginning, I uh, tried to translate the big title of Magia Record. Of course, Google Translate has absolutely no idea what Magia Record really is, so it just gives out random stuff. But if it's just something um, that actually has well-defined meaning, I would say. Register support uh, organization. Like You can kind of guess what this means. Register support. Okay, this means you need to go into your sc uh, screen where you have support teams and just a, 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 um, get a support team registered. It just re it just try to translate um, team as organization. Okay, it's a bit, like I said, it is a bit finicky in some ways, but you should have a good uh, way of at least getting the meaning of everything across. So, this will help you get meaning of all the stuff that you want. However, um, but like I said, this works on emulator really well, unless you have a webcam running at the same time and the emulator tries to keep grabbing the webcam. One thing that you can actually do in the menu to try and help with that, it doesn't show the menu, but on the uh, emulator settings, maybe uh, your emulator has a setting for a camera and you can set it to virtual camera instead of PC camera. Works sometimes, not all the times. Okay, so as a little addendum to that, I had to turn my webcam off for this to make it work completely, but I mean, you're not playing with webcam usually anyway. So the thing is, there's another way to do this with Google Translate on emulator that works really, really well and in real time compared to having to take a screenshot. However, it does take a bit more to get it to work. So I have my multi-instance manager right here where... Um, Basically, if you just install Memo the usual way, you also get this multiple instance manager that you can pop up. And in here, I've basically just cloned the uh, Memo instance that I used to play um, Marga Record JP with. Um, you can use the button clone right here. I think you can also just make a new one, and it might work as well. <clears throat> in fact, it should work as well. But I decided to clone it to skip the installation process. Anyway, so once you have two instances of Memo, you want to just run both of them at once, and you get to a screen like this. So on one of these, I'm going to open Google Translate and I'm going to make sure the settings are set up correctly. So I have settings 
camera 2 uh, selected here and I also have in my uh, emulator settings PC camera set as the uh, settings right here. You might have to screw around with this a bit, maybe go to virtual camera, or maybe go to a different camera right here. But our goal is to reach the following. We want to press on this camera button and then it says us, hey, you want a QR code scanner? We say, yes, please scan QR code. And it gives us this right here, the viewfinder. And the magical part of this viewfinder is, is that it's not actually just confined to memu. You can actually drag it outside of memu and it will continue working. Of course, you know what that means. We can go into Magia Record and drag it onto our other Magia Record instance and it will try to give us some good translations. For example, right here, um, visit your two best friends. Awesome. Now, sometimes, of course, this is still Google Translate. I keep mentioning this. It's Google Translate, so it means that, for example, if there are very special names, for example, like down here, there's a text that uses the word ui, and because, of course, they don't know what ui is, they just make up some other stuff. It, but it's even so, if those two guys were together, I'll surely remember. Uh, which I think in the original means, like, if we two are together, we'll remember or something. Or we'll remember the times we were together, something like that. But even so, I mean, so, like, it's her name, Ring Iroha. I think if you have the name Kaide, it translates to maple, because that's, like, the name, uh, sort of where the name Kaide comes from. Satomi Medical Center, but then it also sometimes gets it completely right. Satomi Medical Center is exactly what that thing is. So, yeah, that's basically how you can use, how you can use the viewfinder to uh, do that replay of Red Story. Yeah, you see that? You can basically just use this to get real-time translations. However, of course, you will need to have two emulator op instances open, which can is not that easy to do. Uh, like, you need to have a PC that can handle two instances, but at least the instance that runs uh, your translate, you could set the um, engine settings to be lower because you don't really need it to do a whole lot. But even so, like I said, it's harder, it's a bit more demanding on your PC, but if you can do it, it's probably the best way to do it. And of course, you need to have a screen big enough so that you can have two instances open at the same time. And because you need to be actually be able to see both of these at once, you can't swap back and forth between the two, you need to have both viewable at the same time. But yeah, if you can do that, that's awesome, that's great. Okay, that was one of the ways, but here are two more ways. Um, both of which I have tested to work um, on my mobile phone, so both of these work on my mobile phone, however, they don't seem to really work on emulator. And I think it's because um, this is an older Android version that I'm using for this, because I've used the easy install, and easy install works on 5.1, and it doesn't quite seem to work, however, at least the idea behind the uh, this app, and this app is called Kaku, sorry, I, it flips the screen when you use it, uh, it's the one on the right here, Kaku. So Kaku it has, uh, when you have it open, it gives you this uh, little rectangle, and then you can pull that rectangle on top of stuff that you want to have translated, double tap the rectangle, and then it should immediately translate whatever the rectangle is over. This works on other apps as well, so for example, if you wanted to translate this up here, you would pull it over there, double tap it, and it would uh, give you a translations. There's also a whole bunch of other options that you can use. Um, that the uh, the app gives you a tutorial for how to use it. But like I said, it doesn't quite work on emulator. I assume it's because uh, I can't manually give it the permissions that it needs because it wants me to give it special permissions. Uh, but on this Android versions, you can't actually give permissions, like manually. If the app doesn't do it itself, you can't really do it, which kind of sucks. At least I think that's the reason. There might be other reasons as well. But I've tried, I've tested this on my phone and it did work on my phone. So Kaku is one way you can make it work. If you don't specifically like Kaku, or in general, if Kaku doesn't work for you, there's another way of doing this, which is called Tap, tap Translate Screen. So this is something uh, that you have to activate here uh, once you've downloaded the app, and then you get this little button right here. And also, in theory, you could just pull this button to text that you want to have translated, for example, translate this text over here, and if you tap the button, it should um, translate what you need. However, once again, same thing with Kaku, that it doesn't quite work on emulator, but as I said, I have tested this on my phone, it did work on my phone, and other people have used this as well to translate text, so you can pull the icon, it basically works the same way as Kaku, you just pull it wherever you want to have stuff translated, and then it should translate the stuff automatically. So if you are an emulator, you have to use the slightly longer way of making a screenshot. I mean, sometimes it goes a bit faster, of course, depending on how you set stuff up. So for example, um, it can be as fast as going in here, doing a uh, screenshot, bam, translate, and already you're almost in there. If it didn't almost take my wrong camera again, because I'm using the webcam, thank you. I'm using the webcam all the time. But yeah, you can get into a really good workflow. And by the way, if you're wondering, well, how long would this take to uh, translate the story chapter, for example? If you know Birdie Roxas, 
um, YouTube channel who does sometimes do subtitled main story chapters. This is exactly how he do, does it, at least from what I heard. He exactly goes into um, main story and then he does exactly this with Google Translate and that's how he does it. So yeah, that was that guys. Hope you found something something of use. So if you are on phone or if you are an emulator version where you can get Kaku or Tab Translate to work, that would be the fastest and best way to do it in my opinion. But if you can't get those to work because maybe you have you're on an emulator that it doesn't quite make it work, you can still use Google Translate, as long as you're not using a webcam at the same time, and then it should work rather fine. And I have been using this as well um, while I didn't well I didn't have the webcam, I wasn't I was using this myself quite as well as bit uh, quite a lot as well so it did work rather well i was able to understand quite a lot of the story that i even uh, didn't even know about yet so that was that yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys next time